Hello villagers, some of you that are new to this kind of game may found that playing this game will really consume our real time. But later on, after you play this game for a couple days, you may found that actually you can make things easier and less time consuming. Back in the day when you start to play this game. So check out some of my tips here. If you are one of those people that are looking to play this game and want to save plenty of your time in the process early on. So here are some beginner tips that may save your time at the beginning of your journey on this deserted island of Animal Crossing New Horizon. First, start your first day playing this game at least two weeks before your current real world calendar. Why you need to do this? Some people might think that this is some kind of cheating our way to progress in this game. But I found the fact that early progress in this game that you need to do are really simple. Like paying your first step to Nook and the next day you need to progress your next house upgrade and then the museum and shops and then to assess some tools like pool and ladder or whatever else. So by doing this kind of things, you could skip early progress if you think you do enough for the day and don't know what to do again on that day. So you could skip to the next day without confusing your timeline on the game. And also this could save your time in real life. Also, in my humble opinion, your journey in this game are still not yet started at those early days because this game get more exciting later on after you achieve all those basics. Before to start playing with your friends and selling your turnips on someone island from the internet and many more. Start clean up your island as early as you could. Weeds and island starter flowers will continue to breed time by time. So make sure you start to clean up those weeds, starter flowers, tree branches, and anything else that you found on the ground of your island. And actually, you could make some more additional bells to continue your progress on your early day in the island. And after all, that could help you to progress your island star rating to actually invite KK to your island to finish letter task from Nook. And the next one is don't forget to collect message battle for the away receipts every day at your show. Message battle is your bonus of the day. Maybe this is the most valuable daily bonus in the game. Because for me, the more DIY receipts that I got, the more ideas to decorate my island later on. So make sure to collect those battles every day. You can speed up crafting animation time by double tapping A button and speed up speech conversation by pressing B button. Early on, maybe it's not a big deal, but when you need to craft a lot of things in the same time, you could save your time by doing this.
bury your 10k bells on the shining holes that you found every day on your island. This could turn your bells into a money tree that you can harvest after 4 days for at least 30k. Those amounts of bells would be a great addition for your daily income early on in this game. And you could leave those small trees to wherever you want after you first buried it. Stock on materials and maximize hot item selling. At the early days on your island, your income will really limited by the progress that you made before. And after you finish first level of your shop, Nook's Cranny Shop, you will be able to sell hot item to Tommy or Timmy in double price. Those hot item will be always something that you could craft with your DIY catalog. So make sure you stock on your materials to maximize your income of the day. Arrange and locate all your villagers' home at the same area to easily manage your island and easily visit your villagers to progress your friendship level with them. And believe it or not, it will make your island a lot nicer than before. And in some occasion, you will find that your villager is doing the away receipt giveaway, like this one. Place or locate your shops at the same area and located near the airport and your home. This would be useful if someday you want to host your friends to visit your shop to buy some catalog or selling their turnips. It also make easier for you to check them on your daily routine because every day there will be a new set of catalog at your shop. And the next one, don't forget to fence off your flowers. As you are aware before, flowers will continue to breed over time. So make sure to fence off your flowers area before your island got overwhelmed by your own flowers. Because it really took a time, really took a lot of time to clean those up one by one. And the last for this video, stop on your Nook Miles point and spend it wisely. Early on, it's really hard to earn much points, but later on, will getting easier over time after you can assess your daily Nook Miles quest, daily quest. 
So you need to focus this one on your daily routine and finish them quickly and repeat it again while you're doing other stuff on your island. You will need those points to redeem some stuff at nooks of his PC. Those items such as DAW receipts, some cool items to decorate your island, and some more items to design your island like pathways and custom design after you unlock those features later on. And don't forget to check in to PC at Nook Office to get more daily bonus point on your daily routine. Also, try to redeem for pocket organization guide and tool ring first early on. Those will unlock more tools and add more inventory space at your early days. So that's for today, 10 beginner tips for you that are looking to start playing this game for the first time and really want to save plenty of your real life time at your early progress for this game. Please like this video if you think that this video is useful and leave a comment below if you have any suggestion about additional tips or anything else. I will expect more additional tips or guide that may help new players of this game in the future. So thank you for watching, see you villagers.